Hey there, everybody. Welcome to the Hobby Workbench. I got something fun for you today. Package one of two. The big reveal will be tomorrow. Today we're doing the lesser of uh, the unboxings. Although lesser is not necessarily a proper word because these are some fantastic miniatures from a company I really enjoy. What might we have here, I hear you asking. Well, we got us just a handful of lovely miniatures from the Wild West line made by Artisan Designs. Absolutely fantastic miniatures here. Help uh, fill out our modeling repertoire. Uh, I ordered these from NorthStarMiniatures.com. And these are all the various games they uh, help provide miniatures for. Make sure to give them a follow if you're into uh, this sort of stuff. So as you can see, I've got one singular model and a handful, a couple blister packs, of some other models. So what do we have today? What do we have? We have Hired Guns 2 with Rifles. These three are going to be used to fill out the last of the Judge Posse so that they have a total number of 10 models. And we have the Banditos 2. This is to get our Mexican Banditos gang up to 10 models. And then I saw this gal on their website. I couldn't find her. Is anyone selling her stateside this fantastic female gunslinger model? Holy crap, she looks great. Had to have her. Uh, saw her online. I was thought, damn, that is a badass female gunslinger model. And this is uh, sort of going to uh, be a bit of foreshadowing for the next video. Anyways, let's uh, get these fellas cleaned up, fixed, and put on some bases. Back in just a moment. Here we are, ladies and gents, and those of non specification. Eliza Stone is the name of this model. Eliza Stone, again, that is the Artisan Artisan Designs Wild West line of figures. She's a standalone gunfighter. Not a whole lot of female gunfighter models out there in the Artisan Design lineup, or very many lineups. You kind of have to go to. Uh, the, uh, the Dead Man's Hand Great Escape Games uh, line of miniatures, a bit of foreshadowing there, for some decent and not overly, you know, I would say, pulpified miniatures. But as you can see, she is just solid, solid looking gunfighter. I, I am really looking forward to painting her. Just an absolutely beautiful miniature. Not a whole lot of mold line cleanup needed or flashing that needed cutting off. Just a brilliant sculpt, looks fantastic, and uh, couldn't be happier with this one. So there she is, out of the package, cleaned up and ready for painting. And here we are next up with the Banditos. Some lovely, lovely Banditos here. These guys are just great. Again, fantastic detail on these models. Not a whole lot of cleanup needed. Mold lines weren't really all that bad. Not a whole lot of flashing or cracking or other issues with them. Just needed to, in this case, get this guy's gun straightened out a bit. Uh, you're asking how to do that. Um, patience and a gentle hand. Uh, that is my advice to you. I tried recording uh, the straightening of these various long guns throughout this, but, um, you know, it, it. I really don't have the zoom on this camera to uh, properly capture it. But like I said, all you need is, uh, I would keep a, a, like a metal straight edge ruler on hand, maybe a couple and a gentle hand. Just, it's a lot of gentle pressure and uh, molding to get them nice and straight. So there's our first one. There's our next fellow. Big iron, and just lovely, again, just lovely detail on these guys. I love the, the uh, I forget what those chaps are called. They're like the, the gaucho chaps, that kind of whole 
gaucho look that these banditos have got going. It's just fantastic. And here's our final bandito. Another guy packing a pistol. Love his tunic. It's just great. He's like wearing some deer hide pants with the fringe at the bottom. Just fantastic. Fantastic looking banditos all around. Just some just a just a badass group of hombres. You know, every uh, every Mexican bandito group needs Next up, we got uh, our hired guns. We got this fellow with a Winchester. I think it's a Winchester. Could be wrong. Could be some sort of just uh, trapdoor long gun. Uh, gun straightened out best I could. There's a bit of an upward curve to it, but uh, not really comfortable trying to... Uh... Plus, that might just kind of be a trick of the light with the, the white metal. But... Uh to see once we get him painted. Love the duster on this fellow and his flop hat. He's got some great detail. Just a nice grizzled hired gun. Another bounty hunter for the judges ranks. Here's our next one. Yeah, this guy's definitely got some sort of lever action rifle. Love the detail on the face there. He's got a nice mustache. It's a great Stetson. And love the leather jacket. Just, just again, fantastic detail. Very minimal cleanup on these artisan design miniatures. They're just fantastic molds. Here's our last gunslinger. Again, good, good scout hat modeled on him there. Nice duster and kerchief, nice mop of tangled hair there, and another uh, lever action rifle on him. Looks great, although it looks like I missed a bit of a mold line there underneath the cap. There we are. Cleaned up real good. So, it, it can be hard to, to notice some of the mold lines on these guys, I'm going to be real with you, and they're so thin. They're, they're very, very thin, very not pronounced, so cleanup is quick and easy and very minimal. They're just great, great models, man. And man, I am just over the moon with Eliza Stone. This model is just, oh, just fantastic. I can't get enough of her. I'm so looking forward to painting her. I will not paint her anytime soon because I got a backlog of work that I'm going to work on, but that's how I work. Got to have your uh, your reward models that once you've done enough work on the models you don't want to paint then you get to the ones you really want to paint and I'm gonna save her probably for last but uh, anyways hope you enjoyed this unboxing everybody uh, be sure to like subscribe comment hit the bell notification all that good stuff uh, I got a patreon I got a Twitter I got a discord check them out in the, in the links in the description of this video and as always I'll see you in the next one Take it easy. A most heartfelt thank you to my patrons and subscribers. I wouldn't be able to do this without y'all. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. I have a Patreon. It's in the description of the video. You can also find my Twitter and my Discord server there if you would like to join the community and help this channel grow. I hope you enjoyed this story, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks again, everyone.